Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans come into today's matchup wanting to find a way to walk out of the stadium with win number five on the season. It's the Falcons going up against the Titans. All right, thank you, Larry. We are across the Cumberland River from downtown Nashville at Nissan Stadium in Tennessee. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Atlanta Falcons and the Tennessee Titans. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Time running out here on the play clock. Mariota. And incomplete to open things up. The intended receiver there was Jonu Smith. And it's second down. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Second down now after the incompletion. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Tech McKinley, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. Play clock winding down. On third down, Mariota. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. It's caught inside the 25. A big time play there for the Falcons. 64 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. Jones will come now in motion right. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And a solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same. 
but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Just outside the five at the six. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. In motion right is Jones. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. for it with Henry. Stays on his feet. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's what can happen with these big running backs. Sometimes, you get them slowed up, it's tough for them to get going again. You know, it's more of a boom, boom type of a runner. Got cleared past one, but then everybody else rallied. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. In motion left, the tight end. From the four, it's second and goal. They'll toss it to Henry. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And taking a gander at the NFL scoreboard in Minneapolis. And it's the Bears who are off to the early lead. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Defense showing blitz. From the gun on third down, Haley escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. And Bryant's kick is good. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. It's good to be the kicker for the top offense in the NFL, and Matt Bryant was that in 2016. Led the league in scoring with 158 points, but boy, does Atlanta find him valuable. So dependable and clutch. And he's been valuable in this league for a while. Hard to believe he's been around since 2002. Adoree Jackson on the return. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Mariota now to throw on first down. He finds Corey Davis. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, 
now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that to throw Mariota into heavy traffic and it's intercepted he's picked off near his own 48 and to the 40 yard line that's where the return stops well that's a drive killer right there not a really confident throw either this one was kind of up for grabs and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team and they'll start this drive with very good field position. Here we go. A first down carry for Henry. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. To throw is Kaiser. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Jones will come now in motion right. On third down, Henry. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no game that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two. And we'll see what the decision is here as they've got a fourth and one coming up. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt. And they're going for it on fourth down. Kaiser. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Out come the Titans now. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. They'll send a receiver in motion left. And the play clock's running down. Following the interception here, Mariota. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. He kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And they'll send the slot in motion left. On second down, Mariota again. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Mariota 
from the gun on third down. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. down throw for Mariota. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Really nice pick there for the reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And a good story on that. He said he didn't even know he won the award. His buddy had to call him. He saw it on television and said, hey, congratulations. How about that? And I'll bet you his buddy said, well, since you didn't know, I'll just go ahead and claim the award, right? And everything <laughs> that goes along with it. But the reason he won the award the previous week and what we just saw there, instincts. Understanding where the play is going and being able to make a play on the football. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position. And we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Now a second down throw for Kaiser. He's going to air one out. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Falcons. Taylor Gabriel, 81 yards. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And two picks. this first half alone we'll see how that affects him can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones they'll throw four or five picks and while it'll hurt their team it won't hurt their confidence they'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny it's never about them that's how they stay so into the moment and into the game They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is knocked down from the side at the 36. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans in a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. one for Davis so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect one of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading trying to figure out what they're doing and on that one they had the fly just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it what people call a dagger route trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out in this case though they're not able to get it done yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Now 
They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Throwing again, Mariota on second and 10. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass incomplete. And the slot man goes in motion left. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. First down, Titans gain of 12. Taewon Taylor. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And past the 30, down to about the 27. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. An update now from down in Houston. And the early going, it's the Texans out in front. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Now a second down throw for Mariota. Throwing right, and that's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. And they'll send the slot in motion left. First down, Mariota. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Vic Beasley in there to get him. And that is sack number 15 for him on the year. say pretty safely that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field bad things usually happen it takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there and they were able to successfully complete that one 
Elsewhere, second quarter in D.C. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just the 30-yard line. First down throw for Kaiser, eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And this is caught at the 20. And he'll take it down deep into Tennessee territory. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Henry out of the pistol. And he'll take this one down near the 15. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they're definitely showing blitz here. gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. On the NFL scoreboard, second quarter up in Minneapolis. And it's the Bears who are off to the early lead. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Kaiser to throw it. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And Bryant's kick is good. 
And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. It's a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead. Now that's got to feel good, but they can't let up. Now on the kickoff, they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Mariota on first down. Going for the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The offense operating inside the 10 at the 8 here. It's first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goal post. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, put them with something else. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So the offense has it first and 10. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Here we go. First down, Kaiser. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Kaiser now on second down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Jones, this is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 62 yards. So let's go ahead and add to the difficulties of guys trying to cover receivers. They've got to deal with speed, shiftiness, all of that stuff. But how about when they have height and length and deep downfield, you throw the ball up in the air, that's how they uncover at the end of a route by being able to go up over the top and make a big catch. In motion is Austin Hooper. The pitch to Henry. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Derrick Henry, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. 
And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This will be taken about the 12. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. From the gun, Mariota. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. Vic Beasley in there to drop him, and he continues to wreak havoc in offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. And the slot man goes in motion left. Mariota now on second down. Rumbling past the 30. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Mariota. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Mariota uncorks one for Davis. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot him. A second down throw here for Mariota. Flushed out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Taylor. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. So they're on that play. Offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to Talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 20. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. That is now seven. Seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. 
Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. Now a play fake here on first down. Flush to his right. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Here we go. Brand 38. Brand 38. Play action now. Kaiser dancing to his left. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Falcons. Taylor Gabriel with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Falcons will extend their lead. An update now from down in Houston. It's the Texans firmly in control of that one. They've scored again. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This will be taken about the 12. That's a strong running. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder... Is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? And the slot man goes in motion left. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Tech McKinley in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Caught right side, Davis. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Titans on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. And he motions the wide receiver. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Brett Kern now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is fielded at the seven. Oh, look at that. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... 
what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Here's Kaiser. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now we're going to get a stoppage as that looks to be Kaiser who's shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So certainly not what they were hoping for, especially on the road. Their starter forced to the locker room, and they will hand things over to their backup quarterback. Running left, it's Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 12 yards is the pick up there, and they're going to... Yeah, the defense definitely showing blitz here. Back now in Nashville. It's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. The Falcons on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. chance for the backup here to throw escaping the pressure right a hit as he throws there incomplete different pass rushes are designed for different things sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket sometimes you want him to flush i don't know exactly how this one was designed but they made sure they moved him to his right he got out of the pocket unfortunately for him he was hit as he tried to throw the ball and that resulted in an incompletion an update now from down in Houston. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And able to find a little space, he gets this up over the 15 to the 16. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. Now Mariota got his man complete over the middle. It's Taylor. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Play action now. Mariota. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Grady Jarrett in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Throwing Mariota. And the pressure gets to him again. Grady Jarrett in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? 
those who forgive the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Third and long here for Mariota. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He'll take it at the 42. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. Now the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Looking downfield for Jones. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Three, three, three. Hey. Hey. Uh, got four. Got four down. Four down. One, one. Check 99. Check 99. Uh. Working out of the gun. Mariota. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Mariota from the gun on third down. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Time running out here on the play clock. Desperation time. Mariota on fourth down. To the right side, complete to Taylor. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. 
This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. Mariota now from the 50. Uncorks one for Davis. And that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. Mariota again. And this is incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field... If you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Throwing on first down. Hanley forced out to his left. And some space here. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Three yards to go here on second down. Running left, Henry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when they're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. It's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So here we go. First and 10 now. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. And the D looking like they may blitz. In motion is Austin Hooper. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Mariota now to throw on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw. That's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Desmond Trufant. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel. No one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly. And now the final moments of this one. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. That one looks like he'll throw here. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way down to the 37. A big time play there for the Falcons. 48 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Does the big boy have the juice? 30. The 20. 10. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. Final score now on our NFL scoreboard. And the Redskins coming away victorious there. If they can hold on, the win would be number eight for them on the campaign. And he'll bang that one through. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, 
it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Play action here on first down. Looking deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. And on second and ten now. Here we go. Kaiser here looking to throw it. Blitz coming and down he goes. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So a tough spot for Kaiser. The sack, and now it's third and long. Come on, let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Cut. Now Kaiser. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And it's incomplete. He's still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Atlanta, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-4. and four. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. and eight. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we sign off from Nashville.